This is Chester. He's a one-year-old Chesapeake Bay Retriever cross. He still needs to be neutered, but he's up to date on his vaccinations, though he will need a rabies vaccine, and he's already microchipped. And right now he's being quite cuddly, which is very nice, but don't let that fool you. He has a ton of energy. He does. He, well, like you, like you said, he likes to cuddle up and, and be right with his people, but he is an active dog and he really does um, need an active home, uh, somebody that can keep up to him. He also uh, does need some obedience training. He's just a year old, so he's got some stuff to learn and especially being in this kennel situation, um, he would do well with some training. He's got a lot of love to give. He really does, and he seems to get along well with other animals, but as usual, it's always best to bring your entire family down to the shelter for a meet and greet. And here we have Jora and Simone. They're both two and a half years old, and they're already spayed, microchipped, and up to date on their vaccine. Yes, it's uh, wonderful because they qualify for Adopt Me, Adopt My Shadow for free program. So you can adopt both of these girls for the price of one, which considering they're both spayed, microchipped, up to date on vaccines, it's a great deal. Simone here doesn't seem to enjoy dogs very much. Um, and same with Jora. So I think they'd be best in a home, probably just with the two of them. They... Um, really like people even though Jora she likes being petted but she's a bit shy here at the shelter I think in a home environment she would really come out of her shell so you guys finally have your numbers in for Friendship Flower Day how much money did you raise yeah we do we were very excited this year we raised just over ten thousand dollars which is amazing just wanted to thank everybody that uh, came out and bought flowers to all of our volunteers this event wouldn't have been possible without them uh, and of course to Gur Direct and on a more sad note, this is Jennifer's last week with us here at Pet Project. She's moving on to some other things, but we just want to thank her for everything she's done for us. Oh, well, thank you. And the SPCA is very fortunate to have a station such as New Cap News uh, to be able to cover. Pet Project will still go on. And uh, thank you guys for everything as well. The Pet Project is sponsored by Quick Pick Waste Disposal. Locally owned and operated and serving urban, rural and industrial customers in Lloydminster and region.